G'day, it's John VK4BZ. I guess since the early day of, of uh, radio, maybe going back as far as Marconi, radio operators have uh, used wire antennas and the way they put them up is they found a convenient tree to string them up into. Well, that's a great thing to do because there's no groundwork, no concreting, no nothing you've got to do. Uh, it's all completely self-supporting and uh, hey, if you're there long enough, the tree will grow and then up goes your um, antenna uh, support, the antenna gets higher. But of course there are some problems with using trees for antennas. And the main problem is this, they tend to flex. When the breeze starts blowing, the tree starts flexing. And of course what that does is that introduces stresses and strains into the system that the antenna was never designed. So for instance the, the rope that you're using to hold the antenna up, that starts abrading and the next thing you know the antenna comes crashing down. Or alternatively, all your solder joints um, have the stresses and strains introduced into them and they crack and the antenna comes crashing down. And inevitably, Murphy's Law tells us that it will be in the middle of that rare DX contact. You're about to exchange signal reports and she's gone. Or you're in some uh, very, very important contest and the whole thing comes crashing down and then you're left with, well, what do I do? Okay, for me, where I'm living at the moment is in uh, Singleton in uh, New South Wales. And it's a lot blowier here than it is back home in uh, Brisbane in Queensland. So what I've, in fact, over the last 10 months, I've lost the antennas about three times, I think, simply through abrading or things snapping. So what I've decided to do is come up with a fairly uh, simple and inexpensive system that introduces some mechanical uh, flexibility into the antenna system. So here it is. Have a look at what I've got and maybe it might work for you at your place. So here's my solution. It's taken a fair bit of punishment over the recent months, but it's still up high where I put it. Okay, so here's how it looks as a unit. There's an eye bolt screwed into the tree, connected to a spring via a carabiner. And the other end of the spring goes directly to the guy wire, and it's tied off with a swaging style clamp. The first point of note is the guy ropes. Well, to be honest, I did away with ropes. And now I use a um, 100 kilogram load plastic coated steel clothesline wire. Uh, when the plastic rubs through, well, <laughs> there's the steel, steel wire left. And uh, it ain't coming down in the short term, I can tell you that. Of course, to attach it to the antenna, I've used a plastic egg insulator. So the guy wire has no close contact with the wire from the antenna itself. Uh, there might be some induction, but it doesn't seem to be an issue. Uh, the antenna wire and the guy wires are simply looped back and tied off using zip ties. To anchor the guy to the tree, I've used very heavy duty eye bolts. Now early on in the piece, I actually tried a lighter duty hook, but believe it or not, without the spring in the system, the movement of the antenna literally reefed the hook out of the tree during a storm one night. So I guess you get what you pay for. And in this flexible system I've got here, I've gone for strength. The carabiner is reasonably robust and simply holds down one end of the spring's loop. Now, the spring itself is again heavier duty, but this time I've made sure it's not so heavy duty that it requires a lot of drag to make it flex. For instance, you know, I haven't used trampoline springs. So really it's a balancing act between strength and flexibility. Now, there's usually a good range of springs to choose from at your local hardware shop. Lastly is the swaging clamp, and uh, this one is like a super strong mini U-bolt. The advantage is that you can loosen the nuts when you're pulling the antenna up to the required height, and then simply tighten them off when you've got it up there. Uh, I found a ratcheting socket set made the job really easy. <laughs> I'd hate to be there trying to hold onto the wires and at the same time trying to use a spanner. Rightio, there it is. Um, have a bit of a think about it. Have a bit of a look at it try it see if it works for you give me some feedback um, after the YouTube video there's that space where you can leave comments and if you've got some other ideas you want to share with other people hey do exactly the same and uh, we'll be uh, <laughs> a lot of people will be happy to read it it's a problem we've all got hey uh, thanks for watching we'll see you next time cheers